Hi, and welcome to this short video demonstration of how to use Polygonica to align a point cloud or a group of point sets uh, directly with a polygon mesh. Um, as always, uh, we're on LinkedIn. Um, there's uh, a Polygonica a dedicated page for Polygonica, so please follow that. We put out lots of uh, new features and videos and announcements on there. So yeah, we'd, we'd be really appreciated if you'd follow us. So a uh, quick overview of what we mean by mesh registration or alignment. Um, so the idea is to, as accurately as reasonably possible, align a mesh from, that's in one coordinate system with a mesh that's in another coordinate system uh, and produce a transform that can then be used to uh, transform one mesh to the other. So it's based purely on the geometry of the mesh, not the topology. We don't do, there's, there's no looking at um, faces or anything like that. Um, it's literally uh, the shape of the mesh. So it works with scans as well as CAD parts. And the typical usage is to take a laser scan and get it into the um, coordinate system of the original part in order to measure, you know, measure differences, display differences in heat maps, that kind of stuff. Uh, and obviously it's intended to work with partial fragmented and noisy meshes. So um, in Polygonica 3.2, uh, which was released, in, I think in October 2022, there was a new function PF solid register, and that took two PT solids, um, a, a reference solid, which is this uh, solid that the point cloud would be re referenced against, and a solid to register, which was the mesh that would be registered against that reference solid. And then, there's, as always, there's a variety of options, and then the output is the transform matrix um, that, that tells you what the registration is. As of Polygonica 3.2 patch 3, which is January 2022, um, that second PT solid, the solid to register, can now be a PT entity, which can be one of PT solid, PT point cloud, or PT point set. So you can combine multiple point sets into a single point cloud and register that in one go, or you can even just pick a single point set and register that directly against the reference solid. So um, if you've got any questions, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can contact us via LinkedIn or you can uh, get in touch via the contact page on the website. And uh, let's move swiftly on to the demo. So the first thing to say is that Polygonica is a software library. What we're displaying here is a demonstration user interface called Polygonica Demo that we just use for demonstrations and it's not available for sale, you can't buy it, we, we don't give it to people to evaluate Polygonica, it's literally just used for, for demos. Um, okay, so I'm going to load in an STL file um, representing the reference part. Now normally this would be a CAD part, but in this case, because I, I don't have a lot of real world data for my demonstrations, uh, I've just actually created a point, I created a mesh from the point sets I'm about to register with. So it's not a, a, a really accurate demo, but it'll give you a flavor. Um, but you can see, yeah, it, it, it is a, a noisy mesh resulting from a point cloud. So just to change it a little bit, I'll show you the denoise function. Um, so in a couple of seconds, that denoise function has greatly smoothed the mesh. Um, so it's moved the vertices, so we don't have the same shape as we originally had. So it will cause the registration algorithm to do a little bit more work. And if I actually um, look at the edges, it's introduced a sharp edge here, um, where you know, typically when you get laser scans, uh, or when you mesh laser scans, sharp edges turned into sort of kind of rounded or, or blurred edges. So the denoise function has reintroduced sharp edges. So it is a different shape to the original. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, just drag it around a bit. So I'm just going to randomly move it um, and add some rotations. Um, So as it's come from a point cloud, there's quite there's a fair number of points involved in these um, little models, more than you'd expect, which is why it takes a little bit longer to render. And um, if I, so I'm now going to load in uh, 20 point sets. 
Um, so we're just going to load them in and store them as one PT point cloud with 20 PT point sets. Uh, and that's there. And obviously, if, when you zoomed out, it looks like it's a solid model. But if you zoom in, you can see, yeah, those are, those are points. Um, and we've not done anything to these points. They're just the raw points from the scan. So if you wanted to um, create a mesh from them, then you probably want to filter them. You'd need to um, align them closely. You'd need to uh, merge the overlapping areas where there's, there's more variation from the different the different directions the scanners come from, et cetera, et cetera. But in this case, we can avoid all that. We can just um, get an accurate registration without having to create a mesh. Um, so if I click on that, I'm going to start the registration process. It's going to take maybe 10 seconds, something like that. Uh, I'm running on a kind of four-year-old Core i7 laptop, so we're not using any kind of really heavy heavy hardware here. It's It's probably a a mid-range gaming machine these days, if if that, to be honest. Um, and there you can see that's done the registration nicely. If I zoom in, you can see that the points are now nicely aligned. I'll make the target transparent. Uh, and um, you can see everything looks pretty good there, as you'd expect it to be. Um, one thing in this case, you might have noticed I'm, the, the target jumped to where the point sets are. That's just how I set it up in this demo, because it was easier. Um, you, you can do it either way. Um, normally, you'd be moving the point sets to the um, to the target, but obviously, the inverse of the transform will give you the inverse. Um, so, it will, the inverse of the transform generated by this would move the point sets to the target for you. Um, so, it's, it doesn't really matter too much which way around you do you do it. Um, so the final thing to say is uh, there is another video on YouTube um, of the mesh called Mesh Registration Preview. Uh, and that goes um, more in, into more detail about mesh mesh registration and shows some of the other features like being able to do a fine alignment base, based on a selection region. So that's the end of this quick uh, demo. Um, as ever, if you've any uh, questions or would like to know more about this or would like uh, more, de more demonstrations, um, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, or using the forms on the website or get in touch with one of us on LinkedIn. Um, many thanks for your time and for listening.